Welcome back to another episode of Torque, the channel created for the weekend warrior out there wrenching on their vehicle. So today we're going to install a Dakota Digital LED light conversion, tail light conversion for the 690 Chevelle housings. Uh, we're also going to give an update on the uh, larger pieces that I painted. We're getting really close to the end on painting, which is a great thing. We can start to assemble the vehicle and that's the exciting part. So uh, let's head out to the barn and go take a look. Okay, so I received my uh, Dakota Digital LED light, uh, tail light conversion kit. Um, I would have posted this video a little earlier, but there are a couple of pieces missing, um, and a little retainer, retainer plates. Um, I had some time. Uh, they're a great company. They, uh, they sent these out, and I received them within two days, so no harm, no foul. Um, so this is the way that the kit arrives, uh, Dakota Digital. You can see it's for a 69 Chevelle. When you open this up, you see you'll have the instructions and here are your LED, LED panels. So instructions are super simple. This seems a really straightforward uh, installation. Um, I'll show you guys step by step how to do it. It should only take a few minutes. And then we'll do a test of the old style bulb with these uh, LED panels. We'll see how bright they are and how quickly they come on. So. Stay tuned. Including in the, in the kit are these connectors, these wire connectors. And I don't know, I'm just not a fan of these. It's where you put the wires through the little holes and then you uh, use some pliers to crimp it down and it slices through the insulation. I've just never been a fan of those. I'll end up using a weather pack uh, connector on, on the end of these, but I'll install that at a later time. So uh, all you have to do is take the wires. There are a couple nuts on the back side of this. Remove those nuts. Put the wires through the hole in the back side. Feed this through. We'll turn this upside down. Once the wires are fed through, you need to take uh, one of your adapters, one of these little adapters, and the, the wires will go through uh, the side hole on this adapter. And you can see there's a little step on this that goes towards, towards the inside of the housing. So we'll put these wires through the, the side hole, feed those through, put, the, uh, put that piece right over the hole and it locks into place. Then all we have to do is take our nuts and install them on the back side. and tilt these so you, so you guys can see. I have some see, seen some other kits that are uh, uh, LED conversions. I did like this kit for the fact that uh, um, it's mechanically uh, held in place. Some, I've seen some of them that are actually glued in place and I'm just not a fan of that. You know, vibration, it may work loose. So we'll tighten this down. And there you go, it's installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do the little test of uh, how bright these are and uh, how quickly they come on. Let me get this set up and I'll, and I'll show you guys. All right, let's perform our test. So this is the LED light conversion. This is the old uh, filament style 1157 bulb. So let's see the, the difference in brightness and then also how fast they come on. you can really see the difference. Um, this is a little bit slower coming on, and just for that, safety-wise, I, I would think that this would be the better choice. Um, from this angle, this looks a lot brighter. It seems to fill in the, the, the whole lens, whereas this one looks a little bit dim on the outside from this angle. So I would definitely do this conversion again, and especially on another vehicle, um, just, just for safety-wise. So 
Now, just stay tuned. I'm going to show you what I did for the bezels that actually go around this to retain the, uh, the lenses. Okay, so these are the, uh, the bezels for the, the 69 Chevelle tail light housing. And, you know, these are the standard bezels. This one's seen better days. I'm, I'm thinking this may be the original bezel that came with the car. So, um, you know, they had the raised area that was chrome, and then they also had the lower section that was blacked out. So I want to try to do something different. Everybody knows me. I, I try and modify something, try and, to me, make it look better for myself. Uh, and uh, my wife came up with a really good idea, and that was to see if we could flatten all this out, make it all flat. Well, on the back side of this, it actually has a trough, so I had to figure out a way to uh, fill that in. I ended up grinding in that so to give something some grip, and ended up filling in with JB Weld. You know, I love that stuff. So I filled it in, sanded everything down, epoxy paint. Uh, and then uh, some 2k filler and then epoxy over the top of it and then I sprayed them and they look completely different So this is what The modified one looks like completely different. I think it'll work. I'm hoping that it'll look really good on the car I think it will so uh, you'll have to stay tuned uh, one of my later uh, videos. I'll, I'll show that these installed um, Yeah, so never be afraid to try something new Hopefully uh, the, the j Weld will hold up to everything. I believe it will. Um, but uh, stay tuned and I'll show you a quick update on the body. All right, quick update on our painting progress. So we've got the tie bar painted. We've got the, the front balance. It uh, just goes below the grill. I also have the trunk wood painted. It came out really good. And so did the doors. Doors came out good. I still have to cut and buff these and uh, yeah, polish them up. But I think they'll, they'll turn out really good. So uh, let me show you the, uh, the uh, bumpers, which have been modified, and uh, they've been cut and modified. You see on a lot of shows, try and bring them in tighter to the, to the car body. So give me a second. Okay, these are the bumpers that I modified, and these have been uh, taken to a chrome plater, and they actually dipped it to remove the chrome plating, and uh, then I was able to modify them. I modified the front bumper by, I actually cut, brought the, uh, the bumper in so it's really tight to the body, I also added these LED strips, which would be my turn signals. I don't know if I'm going to put the turn signals in here on this opening anymore, like the stock configuration. I also modified where the plate normally goes to go to put two driving lights. There are uh, some, uh, I think they're PIA, PIA lights that I purchased to go in there and uh, mounted those up. Um, also on the rear bumper, what I did, it was actually cut and pulled that in. I did cut out a section for uh, a rectangular exhaust. It should turn out pretty good. I only have uh, two fenders left to paint and these bumpers. So we are getting really close to the end. I'm really happy. This is wearing me out to, uh, to paint all this. So uh, just uh, stand by, we'll see. All right, I just finished putting the base paint on the bumpers. Uh, I'll show you that at a later time when they're bolted on. Uh, the last two pieces I have to paint, of course, are fenders. And I left that for last and I'll show you the reason why. That is because we're going to attempt to put stripes on this. I've never done this before. This is going to be completely some, something new to me. Um, so this will be the dark gray, and this is going to be a metallic pearl red. So I'll show you guys the results of this, good or bad. Hopefully it's uh, good. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in so far to see me uh, with the progression of building the Chevelle. So I will see you guys next week on another episode of Torqued.